skip ad. Admit it, you love this button. And you're not alone. Around 65% of people skip ads online. And 93%, when they see an ad, consider enabling ad blocking software immediately. Ads have become annoying, creepy, and intrusive. And advertisers know this. With the click-through rate of a banner ad sitting at a low 0.13%, traditional advertising will just not cut it. So we at Hype are set out on a mission to transform advertising into a highly engaging and contextualized experience. Our technology places ads within apps without ruining or interrupting a user's experience. Traditionally, publishers define spaces within their apps or websites in order for advertisers to bid into. And we are using object detection and placing ads when a relevant object shows up. And this is what makes us unique. Advertisers are no longer bound by boxes, but by context. Thereby, we are capable of delivering highly relevant ads to the right user at the right time. And here is an example of how this works. A user is playing an AR tic-tac-toe game, and when they come across objects in their real environment, for example, a phone, keyboard, or a mouse, an advertiser like AT&T can attach their ad. When the user opts in, the ad experience shows up. Let's talk about the technology behind this. Hype at its core is an ad network. We offer two solutions, our ad platform for advertisers and our SDK to developers in order to distribute our ads. Thereby, we're also helping them monetize their apps. This is our ad platform. A brand can come in here, create their campaigns, and attach a context, which is real-world objects or a location. And then we distribute these ad units via our SDK. By attaching context to advertising, we are not only engaging the right audience at the right time, but in ways we could never do before. Our solutions scale from mobile all the way to AR glasses. Hype is using augmented reality as a powerful medium to make a lasting impression on the end user. And this proposition places Hype at a unique point in the in-app advertising market, where we are bringing truly immersive ad experiences across multiple channels. And we're the team behind Hype. My co-founder, Jayadev, worked on Google Ads as a designer, helping generate over a billion dollars in ad revenue. He graduated from CMU with a master's in HCI, where he filed 11 design and system patents. I myself graduated from Cornell with a degree in CS, and then worked at companies like Apple and Snapchat. When I was at Snap in the ads and monetization team, I helped ship the shopping experience within the app, and also developed the first shoppable AR lens. And we believe we can pave the path for the future of immersive advertising. We are hype, and we're making ads fun and memorable. Thank you. All right. uh, who wants to dig in? Go ahead, Ori. You're the right one to start. I think the main question is around competition, because there's a, a few established players in this field that are all investing a lot in computer vision and AR to improve their advertising platforms. And how, so how do you intend to compete? So our competition, for example, Viking, Omniword, and then we believe uh, Word uh, is also doing this, but they're adjacent. They're developing solutions, for example, of, of filters or lenses SDK, and nobody is really doing truly immersive ad experiences by, within apps by detecting objects. The example that we showed you is an example of experiential-based ads, which is where you're placing ads in a subtle way without popping them in as a banner ad, which is currently what most of the competition is focused on, is augmenting a banner ad experience. Justin? How much user testing have you done, and do people find these types of ads less annoying than the ads you described earlier in the presentation? 
Yes, we went out on the campus of UCLA and did a pilot study where we showed the same example. And eight out of nine people noticed the ad and liked this ad. They said that they've never seen an ad like this, partly because it's part of the experience. And we've also noticed, this is comparable to experiential-based ads and product placements within movies and shows, where people don't mind ads as long as they don't interrupt the experience. Can you speak more about traction today and how you are tackling both parts of scaling that marketplace? Yes. We started out as a hackathon project. Um, and immediately out of the hackathon, we received traction from AT&T. And we received a lot of traction from top AR app developers like WordUp, Sketch AR, Hot Stepper, as well as Tweet Reality about monetizing their AR apps. So three weeks ago, I and my co-founder quit our jobs and took the plunge to make this a reality and help drive uh, AR app developers to build greater apps. Have your advertisers created specifically for your platform, or do they have other creative that they're using there? Or have you actually created for them? So in the example that you saw with at and that was actually a YouTube video. So all of the existing ad inventory, so much of it exists in 2D. Uh, and the value that we offered to brands was that we can convert that 2D ad inventory into highly engaging 3D experiences uh, that the user you know, might not notice that it's actually a YouTube video. Um, and we saw at and was more interested. Uh, we also offer, but our vision is to push towards 3D because uh, with AR glasses, you want more 3D experiences that are fun and engaging and not something that looks like a billboard or a banner. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much, judges. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.